Greetings gamers and welcome back to another episode of Retro Raider. My name is Johnny Retro and welcome back to the channel. Two things going on on today's video. The first one, uh, I'm going to make, you know, kind of an unboxing. I mean, this is already unboxed, but uh, I got two games on the mail that uh, I want to share with you guys. And uh, let's not forget that today's is Friday. So what happened is that today is the deadline of my speed limit giveaway in the celebration of my 4K subscribers here on the Retro Raider show. Let's leave the giveaway to the end of the video. Uh, let's start with these. I received this package right here with two games. Yeah, it is already unboxed, but uh, let me tell you what is going on here. My friend Neo from Up Your Arsenal, I'll leave a link of his channel down below. This guy has a series on his channel called Arsenal Tour. So what he does pretty much is that, you know, he goes to fellow, you know, collectors and YouTubers uh, game rooms and uh, he just, you know, films it. And yeah, Nell stopped by, we actually did a video together here for my channel. And uh, yeah, I got my game room on his Arsenal tour. Now, on the premiere of his video, uh, you know, a guy on the chat was tagging me. And saying that, well, Johnny, I have something that I want to donate to you. Then he got in contact with me on Twitter. Uh, his nickname is uh, Retrominato. His real name is Angel, and I hope that he doesn't mind me for revealing that. Uh, this guy is a huge JRPG fan. And uh, he just likes, you know, Japanese games uh, in general, like imports. He told me that he got a lot of stuff from Japan and that he picked these two games. I think that this came in the bundle and uh, he decided to keep them just because, you know, he did enjoy the, the artwork, the artwork covers. So, yeah, these are two JRPGs. Now, why did he send these to me? Well, these are turn-based JRPGs, right? And I guess that he's more into action RPGs. So, uh, you know, he knows that I'm a huge fan of the Super Famicom and he decided to donate this to me. Now, the thing is that, you know, here the uh, mail, mail office is crazy. It's been crazy lately. I think that, that, you know, due to the pandemic. And this was in the beginning of the month and I'm kidding you not, guys. These got lost in the mail. And I was super worried because, you know, this guy, he paid for the shipping and everything. Fortunately, I do have some really good contacts uh, on my, you know, local uh, post mail office here. So eventually I got these back this week. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to make this video to, uh, you know, to share these with you guys. I'm very excited about these. Uh, these are two games that are part of two franchises that I'm not that familiar with, but uh, I think that these are going to be a really good starting point for me to, to get to know these franchises uh, even better. Now, a cool thing, the box, literally came from Japan <laughs> because again this guy imports a lot of stuff and uh, he kept uh, a lot of these boxes so uh, uh, it's very cool even the uh, you know the, the newspaper that comes on the inside is from Japan now enough talk let's take a look at the games shall we okay the first game right here you guys are going to enjoy this one here we have the one and only <laughs> Dragon Quest Six for the Super Famicom. Now, my contact with Dragon Quest, I did play a couple of these games. I only finished the first game, which I love. I have it on the NES. And I do think that this is a very important franchise. The first game is one of the most important uh, RPGs ever. I mean, hands down to the master Yuji Hori. But I've always been more of a Final Fantasy guy. And uh, I mean, I play so many JRPGs that there's just not enough time to, to play all of them. And aside from a couple of franchises, you know, I'm not that type of gamer that needs to play, you know, the whole franchise. Unless we're talking about, you know, Kingdom Hearts, for example. But Dragon Quest is a franchise that I really, really uh, want to get more into. And, uh, you know, Dragon Quest VI, I mean, we're talking about a beautiful game here. First of all, it is a 16-bit JRPG. Super Famicom exclusive, and again, you guys know I love my exclusives. I love 16-bit games. I really think that, especially in JRPGs, this is really the sweet spot, and I mean, the Super Nintendo, especially the Super Famicom, is, is just heaven for these type of games. Now, I know for a fact that, you know, the Dragon Quest games are not connected, pretty much, you know, like Final Fantasy, but I believe that Dragon Quest 4, 5, and 6 are part of a trilogy. But even though this is the third installment of this trilogy, uh, you can play them in any specific order, I believe, because what I, what I believe is happening here is that they share the same universe, but, you know, the story and the characters are actually different. So yeah, I'm very excited to jump into Dragon Quest. And you guys can see why Angelo likes the artwork. I mean, we're talking about 
the one and only uh, Akira Toriyama here. I really hope that you guys can see uh, without the glare. Uh, yeah, this art cover just screams Akira Toriyama. Uh, it resembles a lot Dragon Ball. And just let me know, guys. Let me know if you're a Dragon Quest fan. Uh, let me know what you think about Dragon Quest VI. And uh, help me out. I mean, for a Dragon Quest noob, uh, what is the best entry point uh, in your opinion? Now, let's move on to the second game. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm more excited for this one. Another franchise that... I don't know that much about and uh, I only played one game in this franchise and I, I didn't finish it. It was for the PlayStation 1 and I'm talking about the Sega franchise and in this case it's Romancing Sega 3. Now pretty much like Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy and other uh, JRPGs from this time, the, these games are not connected. Again. I believe that the first three games, like, you know, Romancing Saga 1, 2, and 3, are connected in the same universe, but you can play these in any order that you like. Romancing Saga 3, this actual game, also got a port for the Nintendo Switch. It even got a physical release. Uh, I can't quite remember if it was last year or 2019, but uh, yeah, it happened. And I was actually thinking about picking the Nintendo Switch version. Uh, now I really don't need to because I have the original right here and I'm very excited for it. I mean, first of all, again guys, the artwork of this game is just beautiful. Right here, the characters on the back, I mean, this is very, very Japanese 90s. And even though I'm not familiar with this specific game, I am familiar with one thing. It's soundtrack. The soundtrack of this game is beautiful. So yeah, two new additions to my JRPG Super Famicom collection. And uh, some very fun ones because, you know, this one for example, from Enix, right? This one from the good old Squaresoft. Nowadays we have Square Enix and uh, Square it truly is my favorite video game franchise of all time. And uh, it is not what it used to be. I do have, you know, found memories with Squaresoft specifically. But uh, yeah, Angel, my friend, thank you so much for these awesome donations. I am going to play them. And uh, yeah, they they really came to a, to a very good home. I will treasure these. I mean, they're in a pristine condition. The manuals are sealed. Uh, he even thrown a uh, couple of, you know, hard covers, like acrylic covers. So once again, thank you so very much. Now I think it's time for the giveaway. So let's turn the camera into my PC monitor. Okay, so here we are guys, shooting straight at my PC monitor. It is what it is. So we're using the website YouTube random comment picker right here. And uh, I've already pasted the URL from my giveaway video right here. We got the comments going on and what we're going to do is that we're going to do a little raffle right here, okay? And find out who won the speed limit code for Steam. Fingers crossed guys, good luck, let's do this. And it seems that we have a winner. And the winner was V4 Victory Gaming. My friend, congratulations, you just won the giveaway. Congratulations to the winner, my friend, you just won a Steam code for Speed Limit. And guys, I want to thank to each and every one of you. I got so many people supporting me and are participating on the giveaway. You guys are really, really the backbone of my channel. And Angel, once again, my friend, thank you so much for these awesome donations. I guess that I have to put my good old Retron 5 to good use again. This was the video guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have the extra time, feel free to follow me on social media, I'm on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. And as always, take care of yourselves, take care of the gaming community and game a lot.